So today we're commemorating 10 miles of track that was built by a small army of Chinese and Irish rail workers. It's a phenomenal feat to, to build a whole 10 miles of track in a 12 hour period. It is one of the most meaningful parts of the entire Transcontinental Railroad, what workers can achieve. It's really the workers that we need to celebrate. The workforce in so many things throughout uh, America is what really made things possible. So I want to highlight the workers and what better place to do it than the part of the railway that they did this phenomenal thing of uh, 10 miles in one day. So by walking on it, we're bringing focus on the workers that made the Transcontinental Railway possible. And I'm so happy to have over 20 people walking with me on this trail. Oh, I just heard about about this hike through an email from uh, Jack. And, uh, you know, knowing that it's 150 years ago, and a lot of the Chinese were involved, so it's kind of something I wanted to do. For me, uh, it's a chance to celebrate the Asian influence in, the, in what happened here. Uh, I grew up in Ogden, not too far from here, and I was a, just a teenager during the 100th celebration, and there was very little coverage of the contributions that the Chinese made to the building of the railroads at that time, in, back in 1969. And uh, now this is a chance to do it again, and, and so I wanted to be part of this walk. It was a lot of, a real uh, opportunity for me. And I'm kind of the same, mainly supporting the Asian community, um, you know, our good friends. We've got a lot of good Chinese, you know, people of Chinese descent that, you know, it's a good way to kind of celebrate your Asian, Asian heritage and support other Asians. As we walk today on this, along this 10 mile path, imagine what it was like 150 years ago for the army of Chinese workers who had to build this section of railroad. Imagine the smells, the odors, the noise, the sounds, the clanging of the rails, the smell of perspiration, dripping perspiration, the fatigue, the hunger, cold, the wind perhaps, or the heat. You know, imagine those conditions 150 years ago Born and raised Sacramento, living in San Francisco now. I'm here just to pay my respects and for the all the railroad workers and uh, credit. And I know all the attributes that they exhibited. I I've got some of that. Just that determination and hang in there and you work hard. session right now <laughs> to come on this yeah. hike so uh, if she doesn't pass her test we're gonna come find Jack <laughs> lunch time eh? this country has a vast history but for some reason uh, the history seems to have been dominated by one culture and, and 
I think it's important to underscore the contributions of many and of certainly uh, uh, women as well as ethnic minorities. And so I'm really happy to be a part of this uh, to communicate the contribution of the Chinese railroad workers to, to America by participating in this event. That's fun and uh, you get to know everybody and, and everybody has a different story. So yeah, it's real nice. Yeah, yeah well, especially, well, for us, we have all our right equipment. Back then, they had no equipment. Yeah, can you so imagine can what they had imagine to do? just imagine what they were doing. Oh yeah. my gosh, like, probably on slippers? I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> oh we my have no gosh. Idea how, that was, how that was. But I don't know how that's yeah, They didn't tough. have like Timberlands or anything like no, that. No, no. <laughs> Iron's was pretty dangerous too. When, somebody had said that if you got sick or injured, they just kind of leave you on the side and just keep going. So that's true. That's, uh, that's one of those things that I can't imagine uh, these people are experiencing. When I found out about uh, this event, I wanted to participate. I didn't know too much about the railroad workers and being that I'm Chinese and all the contributions that were made, I want that to come forward so everybody else would know and, and give my ancestors, I guess, a little credit. And in this day of uh, immigration chaos, demagoguery. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's not right and I'd like to set set the set the book straight not growing up here I, I never I'd never even heard of the golden spy until I moved here so a lot of these stories I've, I've never even heard before it's fascinating to learn about it all. Um, it's yeah, it's, it's great sure. great history yeah. and you know any any history uh, professor or teacher would say here's the history what are you going to do with it now What's going to be, what's relevant about it now to help us be a better country, a better society, a better community? And I hope that we take it to that level. good to made it. Yeah, I first saw that it's got to be really too low for me, for an old lady like me. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Last stretch was, was kind of tough. It was, I was feeling it. It wasn't too bad. Okay, one, two, Dan, and you beat me. You beat me, man. <laughs> Got here first. All right. Eight to four beauty. Yeah. Eight people. Eight people. So many people. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, all of us will take with us um, good thoughts, good memories. Um, maybe a new emphasis on what uh, history and this 10 miles and workers are all about. That whole, whole great message, I hope, uh, lasts a long time. <laughs> proof. His proof. Yeah. Really good. I was here. I was here. 
uh, I ran, I, I, I was uh, controlling the emergency vehicle, so I was happy to be back support. So. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> three, one more, one, two, three. Day one!